Hello and you're watching TV9 News and I'm your host Deepak. If you test positive, should you get admitted at a hospital? Do hospitals have enough beds to accommodate patients with even mild symptoms? What is it that determines whether uh, you need an admission at a COVID hospital or not? Well, these pertinent questions need answers because the healthcare infrastructure in the country is already creaking and on its knees. COVID care facilities are running out of beds for patients with severe symptoms. Let me give you an outline of the current situation. In Bengaluru, there are 3,474 government quota beds to treat COVID-19 patients, out of which only 800 odd beds are available. In Mumbai, BMC's COVID-19 helpline number is flooded with calls requesting for beds every 15 minutes. Kolkata, on the other hand, is falling short of beds amid the rise in cases. In Gujarat, 63% of COVID-19 beds are occupied. Not every COVID-19 patient needs a hospital bed. So, then who should go to hospitals for admissions if they test positive? Now, to answer this and more, we have with us Dr. Sitesh Roy, a clinical immunologist and also an allergy specialist. So, doctor, now what are the reasons behind hospitals falling short of beds? So, Deepak, in any part of the world, uh, whether it was in Italy, whether it is right now in Brazil or in the recent past in the US, when any country is running out of hospital beds, it's because the demand of patients who require hospitalization exceeds the number of beds that have been allotted or planned for that area or region. And clearly that is the thing that is happening in different parts of the country. Certainly in a city like Mumbai, there is a shortage of beds that we are seeing for COVID-19 patients. So every effort is being made to try and uh, decide which patient should really uh, deserve a hospitalization or need it rather and which ones don't. Uh, clearly the rate at which the infection is spreading and the number of people who are coming down with it is exceeding the available resources even more and then in the first wave and hence uh, there is a shortage of beds. Doctor, if not patients experiencing mild symptoms, who should get admission at hospitals? In COVID-19, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of India has clearly given guidelines. The Maharashtra state government has given guidelines for what categorizes as asymptomatic, mild, moderate or severe infection. Uh, in a severe infection, a person develops COVID pneumonia and is requiring oxygen for maintaining their oxygen saturations above 92%, which is 93 and higher. So anyone who falls into that category would fall into the severe category. If someone has a COVID pneumonia but is maintaining their oxygen levels totally normally at room temperature, they would fall into a moderate category. And if someone has fever, cold, cough, sore throat, body pain, headache, loss of smell, loss of taste, or any of these other symptoms, including GI symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, they would fall into the mild category. People can get skin rashes with COVID, which is also in the mild category. If a person has severe symptoms which have led to organ failures, then they would also fall into the severe critical category and require hospitalization. What about home isolation? Isn't it safer at home for people with mild symptoms to isolate themselves at home than risking their lives at COVID hospitals? Absolutely. I believe that home isolation for a patient who's been confirmed to have COVID-19 is one of the best modalities of management in this pandemic uh, for more than one reason. The biggest one being uh, often if the home environment allows it and the person can be in a separate room with their own bathroom attached or something close enough to that, uh, then the risk of transmitting to anyone else and also being outside the home environment where they may be exposed to other iatrogenic infections is far, far less. Certainly this model was utilized very successfully in a country like Germany when it handled its first wave and it is a, certainly a model that even India can look into, but with careful phone calls given to the patient twice a day, regular home oxygen level monitoring through pulse oximetry, regular monitoring of their temperature at least a couple of times a day, 
as well as using something called a walk test where a person walks for six minutes in their own home and measures their oxygen level before and after walking and there should be less than 3% dip in the oxygen level and it certainly should not go below 93% on room air then that person can still be very safely managed in their own home with all the precautions and all the medications and I really believe that with the right care and the right follow-up done through phone calls, through telephonic medicine, these patients can be successfully managed at home by their private physicians and also by the governmental system. Well, home isolation is indeed the best solution to save beds for those who really, really need them. It is also in a way uh, safe to quarantine yourselves at home unless you have symptoms which Dr. Sitesh Roy mentioned about. Suppose you test positive and you have very mild symptoms. You don't really need to go to the hospital. The real threat lies in these COVID-19 hospitals. Your symptoms can go from mild to severe and to a point of no return. So instead of availing hospital beds for minor symptoms of COVID-19, it is advisable for patients with mild symptoms to quarantine themselves at home. By doing so, you can save a hospital bed for a patient with severe symptoms. Please share this video with your family and friends to spread the message and also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to TV9 News on various social media platforms. Thanks for watching.